Hello everyone, welcome to week 14 of World Geography. The purpose of this video is to give you a synopsis of the week's content. We'll start off by looking at our agenda, The lessons that we'll be covering are as follows. So we're going to continue um, our discussion of the challenges faced in Canada and the United States regarding immigration or perspectives from individuals in terms of what challenges they personally face when moving to these areas. So we'll look at videos and a little bit of documentaries or published articles or blogs relating to the matter. Then we'll be looking at current events. Um, we'll be taking part in the 5W exercises in the news flash presentations that we do on a weekly basis. Then we will be moving on to unit three, which is an introduction to Middle America and a um, look at the Mayan civilization to understand the historical context of this region. Some of the big questions that we're going to be focusing on are, what is it like living in the United States and Canada? What are some challenges faced? Who were the Mayans and what were their main accomplishments? So when we look at living in the United States and Canada, we'll continue um, our discussion on um, resources and which nation has larger lands with or without economic use and why. Um, we'll look at the urban areas in these regions and compare them as, as well when discussing the natural resources available and how that affects the economy and people's access to certain job industries um, and so forth while looking at class as well and how that affects um, you know, the differences in class or the differences in societal rules as well. When we look at the similarities and differences in the United States and Canada, as mentioned, we'll look at a comprehensive comparative exploration study of them and the differences in terms of people's reason, reasons um, when immigrating to these regions. So whether they be humanitarian, whether they be due to family being um, already in the country or if they are out to pursue um, something in the job industry. Current events, as mentioned, we will be filling out the new worksheets and summarizing um, these articles or videos that we find um, while making sure that we discuss or give broad attention to why this matters in society and why you chose this particular event. When moving on to our unit three, we'll be focusing on Middle America. So when we're looking at Middle America, we're talking about the geographic realm between the United States and the continent of South America, which consists of three regions, the Caribbean, Mexico and the Central American Republics. So the Central American Republics Republic um, refers to the seven states that are south of Mexico. So we'll be looking at that, understanding the geographical region there and what it consists of along with map labeling since we do want to practice our understanding of where um, this is located on the world map. To understand this geographical region, we'll take part in a drag and drop activity, which gets you to drag countries across the globe and visually compare their sizes with focus on the Middle American region or Central American region. We'll then be talking about the agricultural revolution when we start looking into the Mayan civilization, um, the slash and burn technique. We're going to be evaluating that and how it affects the environment or why they had to take part in this. So it's a widely used method of growing food in which wild or forested land is clear cut and any remaining vegetation is burned. So why was this something that they used to do? Um, is it the most effective way? Why or why not? Or is it still used in modern day? We will then be 
looking at a quick overview of the activities that we're going to take part in. So we're going to be having interactive galleries, interactive maps um, to understand the Mayan culture. We'll be looking at a interactive gallery that focuses on how religion was a huge part in defining their entity and um, um, accomplishments as well. A visual graph analysis through the map exercises, lesson check, and any Q and A's about Canada and US. And of course, the current news section that we cover on a weekly basis. So if you have any questions or need to clarify any matters, be, please feel um, open to reach out to me, um, whether it be through email or in person. That is all for this week. If um, And I hope that you have a great rest of your week. Thank you.